The plan for releasing Tesla Optimus has changed once again. Elon recently confirmed the production schedule for his humanoid robot in 2025. With the new timeline, we might have to wait a bit longer to purchase those Optimus units. However, the rental program could start earlier and Elon's announced commercial plans for 2026. So the question is, when are we going to be able to get our hands on the Optimus? All right, so before we start discussing this new timeline for Optimus, we think there is some notable info that Elon just shared about the robots during the Tesla second quarter earnings call lately. And many things have happened just as we previously predicted. Number one, big updates coming to Optimus Robot. Um, with, with Optimus, uh, Optimus is already performing tasks in our factory. Um, and uh, we expect to have Optimus production version one and in, in limited production starting early next year. Uh, this will be for t Tesla consumption. We thought that most of us would assume Tesla would only produce a final high-end version of their humanoid robot with versions like Gen 1 or Gen 2 being just for research and development headed towards the Optimus Gen 3 robot. We thought that, but we were all wrong. In a video Tesla posted earlier showing Optimus folding a shirt at their humanoid robot development facility, it was clear that many other Gen 1 versions are being built around, indicating that Tesla is not overlooking any of their achievements made with Optimus in other episodes about Optimus. We also predicted that Tesla would sell all three versions at different price points, and the number of features in each version might also differ. As Elon mentioned earlier, Tesla will start producing a small quantity of Optimus Gen 1 for internal use. So, which version of the robot is Tesla going to deliver to customers? We'll be providing Optimus robots to uh, outside customers. They'll, they'll be production version 2 of Optimus. We breathed a sigh of relief when Elon said this. Truth be told, Optimus Gen 1 is actually being better suited for operating within Tesla's factory because its design is not yet refined and it's still too basic for commercial use. Therefore, it's a lot more appropriate for tasks like assembly and machinery inspection rather than being sold on the commercial market. Of course, Tesla could still commercialize the Gen 1 version as we believe that 20 grand price point that Elon talked about several times actually refers to this first version, while the Gen 2 Optimus is likely going to get priced higher. But that's just our speculation. What are your thoughts on this? Coming back to what Elon just said about providing a Gen 2 version for outside customers, it's clear that everything is a lot better compared to Gen 1, from performance metrics and operation to design. At least the kids won't be screaming at a robot that looks more appealing. Why do we say Gen 2 is truly better? simply because it's been upgraded to 60% faster moving, an 11 degree of freedom hand compared to five to six degrees in Gen 1. And it's also a lot lighter, reducing weight by up to 22 pounds or 10 kilos. The hardware of Gen 2 is far superior to its predecessor, so Elon's decision to release this version to customers is a wise one. In the recent earnings call, the two most frequently asked questions about Optimus had a certain similarity. The first was, when do you expect Optimus to be available for purchase? And the second was, how soon do you think Optimus will become viable for business and eventually personal use? Both questions showed significant concern about the timeline for when external customers can buy these robots. However, it's clear that Elon shocked them with this latest confirmation. 2. New Timeline for Optimus Although these were customer questions asked during Tesla's second quarter earnings call, Elon has previously confirmed that the timeline for purchasing Optimus for outside customers has changed. Specifically, in response to a prediction about AI development based on a post on X, formerly known as Twitter, which suggested that humanoid robots would realistically be a story for 2029, Elon stated Tesla will have genuinely useful humanoid robots for low production for Tesla's internal use next year and hopefully high production for other companies in 2026. This means Optimus will appear earlier than the market's timeline for humanoid robots. However, it will launch later than Elon's previous promise, meaning Musk has once again overstated the timeline for his product's release. As he had earlier suggested, Optimus could be sold to outside customers by 2025. So, in that first quarter 2024 earnings call, Musk had mentioned 
Tesla would begin limited production of its humanoid robots this year, allowing a few to test simple tasks inside the factory and then sell a small number to customers next year. Well, that timeline has changed. At first, Elon was quite optimistic about the progress of Optimus, but by June, he realized there's too many updates and revisions needed before these robots can actually hit the streets. These included faster movement, improved hands, a robot capable of talking, and breakthrough AI. Essentially, four major upgrades that are going to be more challenging than we thought. Moreover, with the Gen 3 version confirmed to have a new design, it means these upgrades are going to take even more time. During Tesla's second quarter earnings call, Musk once again reiterated his plans to release humanoid robots by saying, But we, we expect to have several thousand Optimus robots um, produced and doing useful things by the end of next year uh, in the Tesla factories. Uh, and then in 2026, ramping up production quite a bit. Um, and at that point, we'll be providing Optimus robots to uh, outside customers. Tesla unveiled its Bumblebee humanoid robot prototype at the end of 2022, and if by 2026, nearly five years later, the manufacturer still hasn't been able to commercialize the humanoid robot, it's quite late and we've got nothing to be certain that Tesla will keep its promises. In reality, commercializing humanoid robots is very challenging. This is more apparent when you check out Boston Dynamics. They took nearly a decade, but still ended up discontinuing Atlas. And to this day, there's no signs that Boston Dynamics is going to actually sell their robots. A few weeks prior on X, Elon hinted that bots would be offered as rentals as well as for purchase, but the former first. Although there's been quite a bit of skepticism about what Elon writes on X, from a certain point of view, we think the rental program could begin before Tesla officially opens sale of the robots. The initial rental plan serves two purposes. First, it alleviates the cost burden for customers, and second, it would be suitable when the number of robots produced is not yet abundant. Musk's shift in the strategy for commercializing humanoid robots to outside customers from 2025 to 2026 clearly occurred just shortly before the Tesla shareholder meeting when Musk said, Next year we'll have over, over a thousand, maybe a few thousand Optimus robots working at Tesla. He only mentioned the plan to deploy robots for Tesla's factory, but did not reiterate the timeline for selling them to external customers. This implies Tesla will temporarily prioritize internal use, but in our opinion, this is entirely reasonable for two reasons. Three, the reasons Tesla prioritizes using Optimus in the factory. First, we think that no one would spend twenty dollars or $50,000, especially with fluctuating prices, on a product with a lot of defects, maintenance issues, and limited functionality. Therefore, Tesla needs time to perfect Optimus to achieve the best quality, and prioritizing its development in the factory allows them to optimize testing quality and address issues more quickly. If you look at Tesla's EVs, a similar strategy was applied, with most of the initial vehicles being delivered to internal employees before reaching external customers. Secondly, Tesla's prioritization of using Optimus in their factory is not only a logical decision, but also a bold strategic move. Imagine a massive factory like Tesla's, with constantly changing personnel, an enormous workload, and the need for continuous production. Integrating Optimus into the production line is a revolutionary measure that not only stabilizes the process, but also boosts efficiency. The video showcasing Optimus's mobility and its work with a 4680 battery in Tesla's factory are undeniably impressive, demonstrating the product's effectiveness and enormous potential. If we put ourselves in Elon's position, we can clearly see the intelligence and strategic thinking behind using Optimus to serve personal interests first. This approach not only helps Tesla save on annual labor costs, but also provides a good opportunity for the factory to start building a humanoid robot workforce. After all, no one can predict if Tesla will face another round of layoffs in the future. Though, of course, we hope this does not happen. 4. Why is Optimus important to change the world? It's no coincidence that Elon has shifted his focus from EVs to AI and humanoid robots. His vision for these technologies has been burgeoning for a long time, and electric vehicles have merely been a foundation to shorten this path. As you can see, Elon can transfer nearly all the advanced technologies such as FSD, autopilot sensors, motors, drivetrain, or batteries from Tesla EVs to the Optimus robot. This shortens the development process of humanoid robots compared to the competition. So, 
what makes Optimus so important for Elon? This is clearly reflected in what he said in the recent Tesla earnings call in the second quarter. As I've said a few times, I, I think the long-term value of Optimus will exceed that of everything else that Tesla combined. Yeah. As Elon mentioned, the long-term value of Tesla's Optimus surpasses all other Tesla products. In fact, Elon declared that the Optimus robot could transform Tesla into a $25 trillion company, more than half the current value of the S&P 500. Reaching a market capitalization of $25 trillion means Tesla would be worth about eight times what Apple is right now. Therefore, it's no coincidence that he's extremely confident in making a significant investment in these robots. Optimus is crucial precisely because it is not revolutionary. Instead, it represents the natural evolution of how technology can address business challenges such as global labor shortages and finding better, safer ways to perform tasks that are too repetitive or dangerous for us humans. Imagine if robots were deployed in polluted areas without the need for human intervention. Think chemical plants, waste treatment facilities, or in rescue and victim search operations. Even more radically, consider sending these robots to other planets for exploration and life search missions, especially given SpaceX's increasingly promising potential for successful space launches to Mars. And what if, in the future, the workforce in factories becomes increasingly scarce? For example, Amazon, the second biggest private company in the U.S., is concerned it may run out of workers to hire inside the country. Consequently, the company is rapidly developing automated solutions. Their latest solution is a robot that can pick and store items much faster than human workers. The entire retail sector continues to struggle with the challenge of finding and maintaining reliable workers. Walmart recently announced one of the ways they're addressing this issue. The company's partnering with Ford and Argo AI to deliver orders directly to homes using self-driving vehicles. This is the latest move by the retail giant to leverage automation technology within its supply chain. By doing so, Walmart's promoting the adoption of more customer-centric business practices, like faster last-mile delivery for customers, a trend that surged when the pandemic happened. Walmart's a big customer of Tesla and has pre-ordered hundreds of Tesla semis, so it's expected that the company will soon deploy thousands of Optimus vehicles once Tesla can produce them in sufficient quantities for external customers. Using Optimus for tasks is beneficial, but it cannot be denied that it still has limitations compared to humans. So, however, in a factory environment, Tesla's Optimus robot excels in many aspects. It can operate tirelessly 24-7 without fatigue, eliminating human errors and ensuring consistent precision in tasks. On top of that, Optimus helps minimize the risk of workplace injuries by performing hazardous jobs and can adapt to various roles in production thanks to its advanced AI and machine learning capabilities. In manufacturing, AI-powered robots have taken on repetitive, dangerous, messy, and unpleasant tasks, freeing humans to do more meaningful and safer work. Optimus has the ability to operate in harsh conditions unsuitable for humans. Think high-temperature environments or areas that require absolute precision. This extends the operational capabilities of businesses, particularly those in the automotive sector. In Tesla's factory, the Optimus robot can demonstrate superior advantages in management and costs compared to human labor. It does not require benefits like health insurance, social security, or pensions. Issues like dissatisfaction with working conditions, labor disputes, or the need for a rest and vacay also do not apply to Optimus. Additionally, Optimus does not participate in union negotiations, doesn't want wage increases, and doesn't have complaints or grievances, which simplifies workforce management and reduces administrative and HR costs. This is one reason why Elon is prioritizing the introduction of robots into the factory ASAP. Analysts have mentioned that while the large-scale deployment of such robots may lead to ongoing layoffs, it's expected that Tesla will more quickly reach its goal of $25 trillion. That's still unbelievable. Imagine a Tesla factory where hundreds of workers are replaced by an army of Optimus robots that work tirelessly. No errors, no injury, no demands for benefits. It's a shocking and, quite frankly, undesirable scenario. But it's clear that hundreds of millions of workers worldwide could be replaced by humanoid Tesla robots right now without any new breakthroughs in AI. This is not just a simple and cost-effective solution, but also a groundbreaking advance in the industry.
However, there's no need to worry. As the demand for humanoid robots increases, jobs related to their production is also going to go up. Elon's talked about that with the production of potentially thousands of Optimus robots, the number of jobs is certainly going to expand. It is quite easy to see how Optimus could address all these challenges and many more by becoming a true literal assistant robot. Elon Musk believes that within the next three to five years, people will be able to buy Optimus as their personal assistant. Musk envisions a utopian future where Tesla's Optimus handles dangerous and unpleasant tasks, allowing people to freely explore creative and inspiring work or just simply enjoy a life full of pleasures. Musk's heavy focus on AI and robots has raised concerns among many about the potential decline of electric vehicles over time. However, this is unlikely to happen as Tesla's current revenue value and stock performance still heavily depend on electric vehicles, especially since Optimus has not yet come to fruition. Musk was asked by a shareholder at the meeting how important he is personally to the future of Tesla. I'm a helpful accelerant to that future, he said, emphasizing his role in innovation. He said that when it comes to humanoid robots, other companies, including tech startups, are going after the market. Competitors like Boston Dynamics, Agility, Neura, and Aptronic. What really matters is can we be much faster than everyone else and can our product be done in a few years before theirs and be better, Musk said. Although the delivery of Optimus Robot is delayed, it's entirely for the purpose of perfecting the product. Many people believe that even if Optimus were priced under ten grand, its function merely as a toy, and no one wants to buy it. Tesla understands this and therefore prioritizes quality. They know it's an unfinished product, even with an attractive price, and that's not going to earn customer trust. Therefore, Tesla has decided to take some extra time to refine and optimize Optimus, ensuring that when it is launched, it's going to meet the high expectations of the market and be truly useful in our everyday lives. So, what do you think about Elon's latest announcement regarding the timeline for Optimus? And with that, we hope you did learn more about the Tesla Optimus plan after watching this episode. If you did, we humbly ask that you press the like button and join the Tesla Car World family when you subscribe to our channel. That way you'll never miss out on any of our awesome videos once you hit that bell icon. With that, we certainly value your feedback and your time. And thank you so much for watching and hope to see you back here soon. Until then, take care and God bless.